What is up guys? I'm Moana Turtle and today we have a very different Pokemon video. Uh, we're going to talk about, you know, how is it, if you have a, uh, you are a collector of all things Pokemon, what is like the most swag thing you can have and that is your plush game. <laughs> so I want to go over uh, kind of like what my current plush collection is and a, a number of plushes that I kind of have my eyes on that I uh, and potentially looking to purchase in the near future. So we're gonna start with the the ones I'm looking to grab in the future And then we'll go through the five that I currently have and just a quick uh, story about all of them All right, so let's go to uh, This is what kind of caused me to want to do this video just because uh, I saw this post on Poke, uh, pokebeach.com from Water Pokemon Master as always This is the 2019 World's Pikachu plush and uh Oh man, that looks so cute. <laughs> it's like a like a Pikachu on Safari or something. Um, although one of the comments is pretty funny. Uh, so Pikachu killed the hippo bonus and now where's the trophy is at? <laughs> that, that's a very good point. So I'm not sure what's going on there, but I just love, um, I love everything else about it. The hat is really funny, the binoculars. Uh, I just thought, I thought this thing was so awesome. So uh, Worlds hasn't happened yet, but um, once, once those plushes get released, I'm going to be looking to see if I can pick one up. All right, and so I wanted to do five uh, plushes that had my eye on to pick up, but I couldn't narrow it to five, so I do have six. So I had to cheat a little bit. And there's a couple from Plaza Japan that I, although this one is sold out unfortunately, but I think we could probably find on eBay. And that is the Alolan Vulpix. Uh, probably my favorite Alolan Pokemon. Um, this one, like, to be honest, like, I feel it was cute. Not, not as, I, there are probably going to be better ones, but I couldn't find one that was more adorable than this one. So, well, I, I'll admit that I'm a little disappointed, but I, I just feel like I really want a Lolan Vulpix. Super cute, one of my favorite Lolan Pokemon. So that's our number two. And on to number three. I've talked about this guy before on this channel. Uh, been eyeing this Larvitar for a while. It's not too bad. 1500 yen. And if I do purchase some other stuff, it uh, get shipped for free, I think. Uh, but yeah, this thing is so cute. Uh, I feel like Tyranitar's kind of like always regarded as a very strong Pokemon uh, but Larvitar I just find is very cute um, actually most most base are cute but I feel like Larvitar does it for me I don't know why I think um there was a PS2 JRPG game called Nino Kuni and one of the really strong creatures you can get remind me of Larvitar and I really liked it because of that so that for our third one that is Larvitar plush from Plaza Japan all right the next couple we got from uh, looking to pick up from eBay and that is we do always need a turtle and I do like this Torkoal uh, there's no pictures of straight on uh, this guy's 30 bucks so it's a little expensive um, hopefully I can find one a little bit cheaper but yeah look at that guy <laughs> um, yeah super cute and there is that new Flannery and Torkoal character card that uh, is in Dream Lake and our two boxes are on its way it takes a while to get here from Japan though um, but we're definitely going for that card and this plush probably at some point the only thing that's funny about him that I'm not gonna about is <laughs> the way his eyes are it kind of looks like he's uh, either constipated or he's like <laughs> trying to take a crap or something <laughs> but other than that I love this um, Torkoal for our fourth pick and our last two are kind of like a combined they're kind of a package deal so eh, I, I feel like this is kind of like the five that I want and it is the tea ceremony Pikachus and here's one this one's actually pretty cheap you can get it for only $12.50 shipped um, from Asia too uh, so for whatever reason this one's really cheap compared to the other one but I just love these Pikachus this one has a pokeball teacup and he looks like he's drinking some green tea love it not sure why it looks like he's riding on magic carpet, but uh, <laughs> other than that, I like it. it. Must be just like a pillow that you sit on at a tea house. And then the uh, what appears to be the female one. It, this one's super cute. It has like it looks like she like made little mochis and it looks like it's um uh, like a hoppip or something and maybe like a Ralts little uh, little treats, little sugar treats. Uh, so I found these are so so cute. This one actually does look like a pillow she's sitting on <laughs> versus a magic carpet. Uh, but those are the 
Ah, technically six star, we'll just go with six. Six plushes that I'm currently eyeing. And now to move to the next part of our video, we're gonna talk about the plushes that I currently own. And let me know in a comment down below, you know, what is, what is your plush game <laughs> currently at? And what's your favorite one? And if you could pick up any plush, which Pokemon would you want? And if there's like a crazy cool one that I'm not aware of, uh, hit me up with a link in the comment down below and maybe I'll add that to my list of ones to hit. So for my own collection, uh, currently I uh, only have five and two I actually picked up in a recent trip to Japan with my family. And the first one is, ah, the Snorlax. I love this Snorlax, he's super cute and he just looks like he's just slowly sleepy, he always wants to take a nap and I feel like that is Snorlax, so. And we picked this up in one of the, the crane games. It was one of those ones where this thing was attached to like a ring and the ring is like on a like on a rod and you need to like slowly use your the UFO arm to push this guy off the rod. It took a long time. This thing was probably actually cost us a lot of money, but <laughs> it was a lot of fun. My whole family is like chipping in to try to get it done. And then um, also still in Japan, this was one you've probably seen on this channel before is this cute Sylveon plush. Uh, among the evolutions, well, I think I like all of them, uh, especially up among the new, the newest ones. Actually, I like, yeah, I do like all of them, but I really like Sylveon and Glaceon. Uh, so then I found this, in, I saw this at a, another Japanese arcade and I managed to pick them up myself. That one actually wasn't too bad. All right, on to number three, we have Dragonite. <laughs> So this, actually I feel like I get them a lot in some kind of game. I believe uh, I was in Taiwan and we're at like a street market uh, and there's a really cool game where like imagine like a bamboo shoot and the kind of like the vendor he drops like a water balloon in one end and it's like tilted so it just flies out the other end and all you have is like a hammer and you have to like time it so you smash the balloon as it comes flying out the chute. Uh, my brother was able to do it and then he's like, all right, you know, he didn't really want anything. So I was like, oh, dude, pick up that Dragonite. That is so cute. So we did pick him up and I really love this. Um, his body's a little weird, but uh, it was super cute because like, I just I had like a drawstring bag. So I kind of just like uh, put him in the drawstring bag with his head popped out. So I kind of just carried that around uh, Taiwan <laughs> through the airport and everything. And uh, so we only have two left. I don't think I've shown this one on on this channel so far. So this one is a Squirtle. You know I have to have a turtle one uh, on the I Want a Turtle channel. And so we did get this Squirtle from, um, my girlfriend was kind enough to pick me up one of these. Uh, I think it was for like Christmas or my birthday or um, pretty recently. Um, and that's number four. So on to our final one. This is one that we have seen on this channel, but I saved it for last because um, ironically, I think it's actually worth a good amount of money. And that is the Scream Pikachu. He's still in his original, I'm not sure if there's a way to prove his original. Actually no, it's kind of sealed. So yeah, the, I'm pretty sure I picked this thing up and actually I'm gonna take a quick peek. So I'll be right back to see how much this thing goes for right now. And yeah, this thing is pretty expensive. Although I didn't really take a close look, but we're going to switch to this view. And uh, yeah, Scream Pikachu plush. Let's see what we see. Um, let's just go to, ah, let's look at sold. Maybe that's the best way to do this. Maybe those are just the info. Oh my God. <laughs> wait, wait. Uh, Scream, Scream card and Pikachu plush. All right. so. Both of them together sell for four hundred dollars. All that looks like they're going for like one twenty. Oh my gosh, that's insane! Actually, there's not that many sold. So uh, all these detective Pikachu's. No, that's not what we want. We want the screams. All right. So recently in the summer, they've gone for over hundred twenty dollars. If you sell it with the cards, uh, which I have the cards as well, you can go for four hundred dollars for the plushes. Like. I'm not in the plush game for like the long-term value or anything. Most of these like just still on my couch, but that one I uh, had a feeling the price is gonna go up. So I kept it sealed for that reason. And yeah, for if you wanted to buy it right now, um, yeah, 260, almost 300. Let's just go by, sort by lowest first. That probably makes sense. All right, the cheapest you can buy this plush and it's not even sealed, is $131, free shipping I guess. Uh, so 
yeah, occasionally these things are actually worth money. Again, I don't recommend uh, starting an investment portfolio based on Pokemon plushes. You know, it's more about just like having them around because <laughs> they're cute. Uh, but hey, sometimes that happens. And so yeah, that's it for this video. It's kind of different, but uh, really fun. And uh, yeah, I feel like if you're a true Pokemon collector, you gotta have a uh, your your plush games gotta be on point. So <laughs> once again, let me know in a comment down below where your plush game is at, and if there's a specific one that you're eyeing to purchase. Let me know in a comment down below what it is, and. Um, yeah, there's some good suggestions. I'll probably do a follow-up video just because, like, hey, if you if you make me aware of something like that I must have, then we're going to share it with everyone else. So we're definitely going to do that. Uh, so that's it for today's video. Something different. Um, as always, guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support on the channel. Like, comment, and subscribe all down below. I'm Moana Turtle, and I'll catch you guys next time.